Welcome to Firearms of America. Today, as you guys can see, I have another pair of Salomon boots for review, and these are the X Reveal Winter Boots, yes, or shoes, depending on how you look at them. So, to give you a brief overview, excellent, excellent, excellent comfort level, unbelievably great outsole. Overall, very lightweight, currently $140 on Amazon. The link is in the description below. If you're ready to start a whole review, let's get into it. As some of you already know, this review is specifically for my Ultimate Survival Boots section. So, imagine some winter situation and uh, these are the boots that you had in your house. Or maybe you were already wearing them and something bad happened. And now you had to walk for miles and miles to the safe destination on the way you had to maybe run some some point of time fight i know do whatever is necessary to survive right would these be good for your survival all right well how do we make the judgment we make the judgment based on eight different criteria let's begin criteria number one of course comfort level and like i said in the beginning these are extremely, extremely comfortable. I absolutely love the comfort level of these boots. Honestly, they feel like a sleeper. You put your foot in and you don't want to take it out. That's how comfortable they are. And in order to test the comfort level of all the shoes and boots that are reviewed on this channel, I do a three mile run and then a five mile walk, no stopping in between, and then I continue wearing the shoes or the boots for the rest of the day. So that the total wear time is about eight hours. There are of course several factors that contribute to this amazing comfort level. One of them being, of course, the weight, the lighter they are, the more comfortable, the easier it is to walk for extended periods of time, the easier it is to run. And these are, by the way, size 10, 13 ounce, 13 ounce, for a waterproof boot, winter boot, all right? So you have your winterproofing on the inside. 13 ounce is really, really impressive. Now, in order to give you a reference number, usually I say that you're looking for something under 20 ounce if you want something really lightweight. Uh, if you want to walk for extended periods of time, run without the weight on your feet slowing you down or giving you fatigue, right? You're looking for something under 20 ounce. The more under 20 ounce it is, obviously the better, the lighter it feels. And once it starts going over 20 ounce, you start feeling that weight on your feet. 13 ounce, definitely way below 20. So really great job there, Solomon. There are of course a few other factors that contribute to the comfort level. One of them being the flexibility of the outsole and here, as you can see, it is actually very, very, very flexible. The outsole is unbelievably flexible in this boot. So you can actually run in these without any problems at all. Of course, you do have the very soft fabric throughout the whole thing. This design right here, adding a little bit of the reinforcement to the toe, but still it is very, very soft. There is a padding in the tongue, in the shaft, and one of the best parts about this boot is of course this winter insulation that is being used. It is very, very nice and comfortable. I usually say on this channel whenever I review the boots, uh, I say that m the most comfortable boots are the winter ones. Because of this insulation, it adds the cushioning throughout the whole boot. Usually you don't have that in a regular boot and it just adds so much to the comfort level like it does here in this boot, I mean, it, they feel unbelievably good on your feet. So overall, the comfort level is just phenomenal. I absolutely love it. Probably one of the most comfortable boots that I have reviewed on this channel. And I have reviewed a lot of boots on this channel. All right, so done with the comfort level overall, fantastic. Let's move on to the criteria number two now, the proofing and protection. So proofing wise, these are the CSVP, which stands for Climasense Waterproofing. This is the uh, Salomon's own waterproofing technology. And uh, it's not as fancy as Gore-Tex, as GTX waterproofing, but in my experience, it has been pretty good. I haven't really seen the difference between CS waterproofing and Gore-Tex. Uh, 
The only major difference is that you will notice between the two is the price. Whenever you get the CSVP product, not VP, WP, over GTX, you are saving a lot, a lot of money because GTX is pretty expensive. So I honestly prefer um, CSWP over GTX because you will, because of these savings. Now, whenever it comes to the protection, you don't really have a lot in this boot to offer whenever it comes to the protection. Uh, the toe box is very, very soft, so not much protection over here. Um, ankles, you do get more or less with this shaft. I honestly feel like the shaft could have been a little bit taller in this boot to give you a little bit more ankle coverage, but well, it, it is what it is. Uh, one of the main things probably why I really wish it was a little bit taller, the shaft, is so that you could have a little bit more waterproofing because right now, if you notice the gusseting on the tongue, it is only, let me tell you exactly, about four inches, all right? And four inches is more of a, of a shoe waterproofing um, clearance from the ground, not a mid-sized boot. I, I really wish that there was a little bit more here. Heel is uh, reinforced a little bit, but not much. And of course your outsole, you do have uh, a very nice contour grip outsole, which we will talk about later. You do have protection from there as well. So overall, you do sacrifice on protection, not much on the proofing, but you do sacrifice on the protection whenever it comes to this boot in general. But then again, that's where all the lightness comes from. So this is really at the end of the day, it's a personal preference. Do you want a lighter boot with less protection or do you want a heavier boot, a little bit bulkier boot with more protection? All right, let's move on to the criteria number three now, quality and the design features. Quality-wise, Salomon, they know what they're doing. They have been doing boots since forever. 1947, I think, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, but they have been around forever. They know what they're doing whenever it comes to hiking stuff, whenever it comes to outdoor stuff, not just shoes and boots, but a lot of other products, apparel for outdoors use, right? And honestly, in general, whenever it comes to Salomon, I mean, this is probably the most reviewed brand on this channel of all the other brands and uh, I haven't really been disappointed so far at least severely in any of their products all right in fact the the best ultimate survival boot of 2019 was the winner of that was Salomon X Ultra 3 mid GTX all right so whenever it comes to that it's pretty good and if you check the link is in the description below currently there are more than 140 ratings uh, reviews on this boot on Amazon and almost five stars so people do like it whenever it comes to the uh, features usually here I talk about the lacing system here's there's really not much to talk about uh, it's all the closed hooks so you don't really have any open hooks it does not slide through as easily as I mean, it slides through decent, but could have been a little bit better. Honestly, if there was one thing that I would say that I am not impressed about this boot, that would be the lacing system, because I think it could have been uh, it could have been better here. Um, all right, so let's move on. Done with the criteria number three. Let's move on to the criteria number four now. Outsole, traction and stability. Now, whenever I do my uh, run and uh, walk, uh, to test the comfort level. I do it on a variety of different surfaces to test the uh, traction stability as well. And uh, starting from older asphalt, going to newer tarmac, and then some sand, dry sand, wet sand, dry grass, wet grass, some trail, some rocky road, and then marble and tile. So overall, like I said, this is one of the best outsoles that you can get out there. It is very, very, very good. It has a perfect balance of aggression and flatness and uh, it handles fantastic on everything. And besides my usual run and the walk that I do, I also had an opportunity to test this boot on the actual snow. Not a lot of ice that I could find, but there was some snow and uh, they handle very, very good on the snow as well. Now, whenever it comes to the ice, there isn't really a lot of stuff right out of the box like this that can handle on ice unless it's specifically the ice boot with some spikes and stuff like this usually I say hey just get yourself um, uh, spikes that you can put on a boot 
And uh, in case if you come across the icy situation during your hike, you can just put on the spikes and there you go, you got it. Um, but, but, it handles beautifully on everything. The grooves, you, you can see that they're, overall the design is very simplistic. But at the same time, the grooves are very aggressive and overall as a design, it's, it has a good flatness to it. So you don't dig into stuff, all right? And you have the ridges here as well. So if you are climbing something, that will be helpful. I mean, not much, but a little bit still good to have. And overall, the contact grip, because it's a harder rubber, it's, it's a mix of two layers of rubber, which you can tell right away because of the different coloring. Um, you have a softer one at the top and then the harder one at the end to give you um, the protection that you need on your trail. All right, so whenever it comes to outsole, phenomenal job as usual, Solomon. All right, so let's move on to the uh, criteria number five now really quickly. I kind of briefly mentioned already. Um, temperature, like I said, whenever it comes to ice, there's not much to talk about. Whenever it comes to snow, they handle perfectly. Whenever it comes to overall winter situation as a temperature, I did not test them in as cold as I could go. It was about 20 degrees, so not too cold for me, all right? Coming from Florida, it's very cold for me, but not, not anything extreme right and they they gave me perfect amount of warmth all right so if you guys do have experience in colder temperatures colder than 20 degrees with these boots please let us know in the comments below that would be very helpful for me and for everybody else to see how much they can handle all right now overall with the temperatures I am happy with the insulation and everything that these boots provide. The only thing, like I said, for winter situations, I wish there was a little bit more of the shaft to give you more of the gusseting for just a little bit more waterproofing, at least another inch of waterproofing. That would be good, um, which is very applicable, especially whenever you're walking through snow, you know, you don't want the snow to get in there because that's what, that's what makes it wet on the inside. And then your whole waterproofing is just becomes kind of, pointless all right so let's move on to the criteria number six really quickly the sizing um these are definitely true to the size no problems there um usually i recommend here if you are getting yourself boots or trail running shoes you want to get yourself half a size bigger than your normal shoe size so if your normal shoe size is nine get yourself boots in nine and a half so you have a little bit of extra space helps on your hike all right criteria number seven now the balance of application so, if these really were your ultimate survival boots, would they be good? Would they help you survive? I think overall it's a pretty good option, especially if you are like me, prefer more of uh, mobility and lightness, no restriction of the movement, uh, or prefer preferring that over the protection. All right, so not a lot of protection, but very light very easy to run faster and be faster in general you're gonna like these ones the only thing that i would say solomon could have done a little bit better overall not specifically for ultimate survival situations but in general it's just add a little bit of more of the shaft maybe another inch of the shaft another inch of waterproofing and a little bit of a better lacing system i think it would just would have been phenomenal Maybe even a little bit more of the protection on the toe with this rubber extending over like this to give you a little bit more of protection in the toe box. But that would add to the weight and then we are talking about sacrificing the weight for the protection and the whole that type of uh, conversation. So overall, overall, I think that's a fantastic boot. Fantastic. I love it. Uh, whenever it comes to winter boots in general, this is probably one of the best winter boots that I have reviewed on this channel so far unbelievable comfort unbelievable outsole and the very last criterion eight criterion number eight price 140 dollars currently on amazon i think the price is great overall for everything that you are getting in this boot the comfort level the outsole the waterproofing which definitely does the job a little bit more of it would be nice but still um 140 dollars there is some competition more or less decent competition for this boot in the in that price range uh there are a few good boots from salomon as well winter boots there are some pretty good winter boots from columbia 
uh, that would be kind of similar to what these boots do offer. So check them out. I do have the reviews on this channel. See, maybe uh, you find something you like a little bit more. So let me know in the comments below, guys. What do you think about these boots? What do you think about this review? If you have any requests, drop them in the comments below and I will be happy to address them. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. This was Firearms of America. See you guys in the next video.